So and guys, so this is what happened. <laughs> so this is my last stop and I will not be able to continue this one today. So I'm just going to buy another one tomorrow. So as you can see here, uh, Putol. So it's a uh, snap in the middle. Hey guys, uh, welcome to this uh, messy uh, workshop and uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Efren. I'm a designer and I also love building the projects. So in today's uh, video, we're going to continue on uh, building this whole uh, 4x8 uh, DIY CNC machine. So as you can see, uh, it's a little bit more likely almost done, I think. So the, the only missing parts for uh, this uh, whole build is uh, the installation of the rack and pinion because uh, I already have the motor here. So this one and on the other side and then uh, this one here is for the uh, X axis and the Y axis is out uh, the Z axis is here at the top. So this particular X axis is uh, driven by a belt. So it's a uh, closed loop belt and uh, it's a linear actuator. And for the Y axis which is uh, this side and on also on the other side. Uh, this one is uh, 2.7 meters. Mm -hmm. I previously uh, tried to use a chain but it's a fail. So I have a separate video for that. And finally, I finally got uh, this uh, rack here. So I've been uh, searching for this type of uh, system, the rack and pinion system. So yeah, so this is the rack that I'm going to use for uh, this build. So I purchased this one through AliExpress and also I have an, a separate video for that one with the, uh, with the uh, planetary gear that I'm going to use for the uh, Y axis to planetary gear. So that's what I'm going to use. And for the rack side, so I purchased four because this one is 2.7 meters and then the maximum capacity of this one is 2.4 meters. So uh, this rack gear is a 1.5 meter so i'm going to uh, combine this two here so i have another two on uh, that side so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm just going to cut uh, this one uh, to make this whole length uh, 2.5 meters so this one is 1.5 so i'm going to get uh, another uh, one meter for uh, this side so yeah so that's what i'm going to do yeah install this uh, rack gear and then still uh, for the rack and pinion I still have to wait for it to get in my hands so it's uh, already uh, on my way from China Aliexpress as usual so after uh, I'm done cutting uh, this uh, rack gear so I'm going to install it into this uh, system so I'm going to uh, get the camera and uh, move a little bit closer to this uh, side so now guys uh, to be able for me to install this uh, rack gear uh, because uh, the, the linear rail is uh, this one at the top and I have no other space to install it directly side, uh, beside uh, this uh, linear rail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, this angle bar here. So this, so yeah, uh, wait. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do in this case, uh, because uh, for this uh, linear block i use angle bar and it has this uh uh the other side of the angle bar or the other side of the uh uh yeah so the other side of the angle bar is uh, facing down and i cannot uh, really install this uh, rack gear uh beside uh, this one because this side of the angle bar for the uh for the uh, uh x-axis uh, post is kind of uh, on the way so what i'm going to do is i uh bought a 2x2 two two angle bar 1 4 inch uh, thickness and uh, I'm going to install it uh, like this so just like this one this one is the the, the same material that I'm uh, using here so this one is going to be uh, bolted into this uh, main 2x4 frame which is uh, this one so after I'm go after I bolted this angle bar so I'm just going to put the uh, rack gear here on top of it so that it would be easier for me to just uh, screw and bolt uh, this uh, rack gear into this uh, angle bar. So I think it's uh, uh, so I think it's uh, fine because uh, this uh, angle bar is very thick. So 
I think uh, that's gonna be fine. So for the mechanism and for the installation of the uh, planetary gear with the motor and uh, with the uh, rack uh, with the uh, pinion itself is I'm going to use this angle uh, this uh, this aluminum plate uh, 12 mm for the uh, motor. So this one is the attachment for the motor. So there's a hole for this one to, for the shaft and then uh, four holes for the uh, fixing the motor here. And then I have here this one. This one is an angle bar cut into uh, the size that I need. So I can attach uh, this side into the this one here. So I'm going to move this one a little bit closer. Yeah, so as you can see, it's uh, already uh, ready. So what I'm going to do is uh, this uh, small angle bar or bracket that I've been uh, th that I uh, made. So this one is gonna be welded in this angle bar. So so that uh, this uh, plate here. So this uh, plate here uh, that contains the, the the motor and then the the rack uh, the, the motor and then the pinion uh, can pivot in here. So I also I'm going to. Uh, put uh, some kind of tensioning in here in this side to, towards uh, this plate so that when I put the, the motor here and then the rack and uh, it is uh, going to uh, move into that direction uh, towards uh, this rack here so there's the teeth here facing at the side so the rack is going to be somewhat like uh, facing also just like this one uh, as an example like this so it will run forward and backwards so this one can move like this so yeah so that's basically the the, the mechanism for this whole thing so uh, i'm going to install this one here and then so uh, maybe for the the other side i'm not uh, going to video that one because it would be uh, just the same as uh, this one mm -hmm. so i think uh, this one is gonna be uh will take me long so let's start building this Now guys, uh, what I'm going to do for this kind of uh, cut is I'm just going to uh, grind this one so that uh, the, the half of this every tooth is equivalent to this uh, edge of uh, this uh, rack. So let's degrind this. Uh, but then uh, the first uh, thing that I'm going to do is uh, before I'm going to install this uh, rack gear into this uh, angle bracket is uh, first I'm going to uh, fix uh, this angle bracket or this angle bar into this main frame so I'm going to drill a lot of holes so because uh, this one is on this side and then there's gonna be on the other side also so for this th uh, for this one I'm just going to use a M8 bolt and I'm going to drill a lot of holes in here so I'm gonna start right now so here's uh, the situation right now so when I am trying to to detach so when I'm trying to detach uh, this one and try to put some holes in it so I've figured out that uh, I can just weld uh, this one because uh, the for the very first uh, reason why I want to install this uh, bracket using bolts is the fact that uh, this bolt here cannot be removed so in that case if it uh, this whole uh, bracket is on bolts so I will be able to remove this one and remove the bracket for the motor so yeah so this one is the bracket for the motor so this one is going to be something like that and then there's gonna be t some tension so now <laughs> I just figure out that this bracket is a, a somewhat 90% uh, on the place so the other the, the very last thing that I'm going to do this one is bolt uh, this one 
and then this one is uh, I'm going to fully weld uh, this one and then yeah so basically is because uh, we have a little bit of space at the back so I just figure it uh, right now that I can push the whole grand tree back so in that case I can now remove this bolt oh easy so so yeah so that's basically what I'm going to do so the same way as the other side so that particular angle bar there I'm just going to uh, install that one uh, at the back or at the other side and just weld this whole thing so so that would be easier and uh, there's not gonna be more adjustment or uh, in the future so yeah so basically now that I just figured out that I can remove that particular bolt so yeah so let's just uh, go into weld this bracket and that one also so let's do this so now guys uh, before I'm going to install or before I'm going to weld this particular bracket into this main frame is I'm just going to grind this uh, side of the main frame because uh, this one is uh, covered with a epoxy primer so so that it will be easier for me to weld and uh, the wheel will hold uh, directly and fast so let's do this Hey guys, so oh, I already have the uh, angle bracket uh, installed here. It's already welded into the main frame. And uh, now I am installing the uh, rack gear. Uh, I already uh, pre-drilled everything. So the only thing that I'm going to do right now or to next is uh, to uh, tap every holes that I have for this one. So as you can see, so temporarily I just uh, clamp uh, this one using the C-clamps. So here, here here and for the joints so this is the place where the the connection between two rack gear so it's here and then i have uh, an off cut of a uh, rack gear here and i use uh, them so i clamp both uh, this side of the uh, rack gear and also that side so i clamp it here also then for the placement and uh, distance between the uh, angle bracket is i just uh, clamp this one in here so i just removed the other clamp on the other side so here's the other clamp and then this uh, a clamp over there but then i already tap and uh, screwed or bolt that side so i just removed the uh, clamp so as you can see here are the bolts it's already in here so i already tap this part but then for this part here is uh, I'm almost done so I actually just using this uh, M3 uh, M4 uh, top and uh, this particular M4 I already broke four so this is the only top that I have uh, left so I'm just uh, uh, using this one slowly because uh, it's gonna be hard for me to find another replacement for this one and I think uh, maybe uh hoping that uh this one will last until every holes are being or every holes are all, uh, all top so yeah so i'm just go, uh, going to continue and i'm just going to show you a little bit of a sneak peek for or a little bit of the process here so here's it guys so i i'm going to top this part here so first i just uh put some wd-40 into this top because previously i'm not using this one that's why i broke four so here we go just slowly
so this is gonna be real time I don't know if you can see the top yeah so it's now I think all the way okay so now I'm just going to retract this one mm -hmm. This particular tap is a uh, very nice because it's kind of uh, making all the shavings stick into it. It's like magnetic. So, yeah, so it's very useful. So now I'm going to do the same thing to this side. So, WD 40. Then slowly. So now guys for the part where it's uh, too hard for the drill because uh, the, uh, this particular top is round and then the only part where the chuck can hold or can uh, grip is this uh, tip because yeah, it's been ground to four sides so uh, when it comes to this uh, situation so I'm just going to use this uh, adjustable wrench and I'm just going to manually turn this one because as of uh, now it's uh, too tight or too hard for the top and I'm just uh, doing it slowly because uh, I don't want this uh, particular top to get uh, broken Same so guys, so this is what happened. <laughs> so this is my last stop and I will not be able to continue this one today. So I'm just going to buy another one tomorrow. So as you can see here, uh, potol. So it's a uh, snap in the middle and then the other uh, half of this one is still in the, the hole. So I'm going to uh, remove this one using by script. And then I only have one, two, three, four, four holes left to, to tap so yeah so i'm just going to uh, bought another one for tomorrow so yeah so i'm going to remove this and then uh for the other bolts so i'm just going to tighten everything because i don't have any top anymore so yeah let's go so now guys i'm just uh going to start uh tightening these uh bolts m4 all the way so I still have one, two, three, four left. So yeah, we'll get uh, back to this tomorrow. So now, just going to start in here. 